In this video, we'll compute the inverse of a two by two matrix, two different ways. First, by using row reduction, and second, using a shortcut formula. As we saw in a previous video, one way to compute the inverse for a matrix is to augment that matrix with the identity matrix, and then convert it to reduce row echelon form. I'm gonna do my row reduction by first multiplying the first row by one third, then getting rid of this five, then multiplying the bottom row by negative three halves, and finally getting rid of this four thirds. Since we are able to obtain the identity matrix as our left chunk after row reduction, the inverse matrix A inverse exists and lies in the right chunk. This is our inverse matrix. Next, I'm gonna give you a shortcut formula for finding the inverse of a two by two matrix that'll get you the same answer with a little less work. In general, if your two by two matrix has entries, I'll call them little a, little b, little c, little d, then A inverse will be given by the matrix D negative B negative C A multiplied by the scalar one over A D minus B C. To help remember this formula, notice that the entries in this diagonal have been swapped. The entries in that diagonal have stayed the same but gotten negative signs in front of them. And the whole thing is multiplied by one over this crisscross product AD minus BC. This crisscross product is also known as the determinant of the two by two matrix. Now you might be wondering, what if AD minus BC is zero? Because then we'd be dividing by zero and that seems like a bad idea. Well, that's a very good thing to point out. And in fact, I should be a little more precise and say that if AD minus BC is not equal to zero, then A inverse exists and equals this matrix here. But if, on the other hand, AD minus BC is equal to zero, then it turns out that A inverse does not exist. So let's see why this formula works. We could derive this formula by writing our abstract matrix A, augmenting it with the identity matrix and doing row reduction, but it'll be a little simpler just to check that it works by multiplying our supposed inverse matrix by our abstract original matrix and making sure that we do in fact get the identity. Carry down my scalar here, and then I'm gonna multiply this row by this column to get AD minus BC, this row by that column to get BD minus BD, that row by this column to get minus AC plus AC, and that row by that column to get minus BC plus AD. We can see that this corner is just zero, that corner entry is zero, and when we divide these two entries by AD minus BC, we get ones, just like we want, the identity matrix. So this matrix must indeed be the inverse of A. So let's go back to our original problem, finding the inverse for this two by two matrix. We know the inverse should be what we get when we switch the numbers on this diagonal and negate the numbers on this diagonal and multiply the whole thing by one over three times six minus four times five. So A inverse is one over negative two times the matrix, and if I bring in the one over the negative one half, that gives me negative three, two, five halves, 
and negative 3 halves. That's exactly what we got when we solved this problem before. This video gave us a handy shortcut formula for finding the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix.